15 of the evening, which is brought to you by DECA and is an international prestige bout. Please welcome me to the red corner for the Golden Fighter Ship in Italy, the current WBC International Champion, Rosario Lodoristi. is set, lights, camera, action. The whole shebang is Muay Thai Mayhem here in Crawley and it is George Jarvis from the Lumpini Fight Team and he is fighting Rosario Presti from the Golden Fighters Gym in Italy. Full tie rules, first of five three minute rounds matched at 72.5 kilograms, international bout. I'm Danny Kendrick and I'm joined in the commentary box by Mr. Dave Fenton, how are we Dave? Very well, thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to this one, looking forward to seeing George in action. I know he was due to fight uh, Joe Craven. That was what a fight be that was going to be. Absolutely amazing bout, and hopefully we'll get that on in the future. But in the meantime, he has uh, this man in front of him, Presti. Presti's very experienced. He's fought a lot of K1. I've commentated on Presti a few times before, actually. Last time was in Paris, and uh, he had an absolute war there as well. You must watch the right hand, but he is in the latter years of his career now. Yeah, certainly George is not. He is a very skilled up-and-coming fighter, and you can see how relaxed he looks in there. At the Elbows moment. already, Dave. Yep. Landing nicely, too. Just finding his range, George. Contender fighter, of course, wasn't he? Um, Presti, representing Italy there. Oh, close <laughs> Spinning back fist, Jarvis is looking elbows already. He's so hungry for them, Dave. Once you've landed a few, they're uh, addicted, right? Very much so. Look at the way he ties up in the clinch. Just beautiful work there from Jarvis. Just one hand in the face, one hand on the bicep, just pushing his weight to the side, and he almost got the trip there at the same time. The thing that impresses me the most about Jarvis is a fluid kicker, Dave. Once he just starts kicking up to the body, it's so natural for him. Probably since he's done it since birth with his dad. Exactly. He's a big contributing factor. Literally from birth. Uh, I like the way he switches stance as well. He'll be a southpaw one minute and he'll kick from there 
as easily as he'll kick from orthodox. And it's very hard to read, right? Yeah, very much so. Jarvis already getting very authoritative in this, isn't he? Yeah, he reads the fight very well. Presley's stepping forward, and Pres don't worry, Presley will come forward. That right hand is dangerous. He's got a lot of power in it. Yeah, he's got a big, solid upper body there. He's had a lot of fights with a lot of top, top fighters as well. Oh, lovely. That little turn, that trip, and then the body kick to land at the end was beautiful there from Jarvis. Absolutely beautiful, yeah. He is a fighter that is very comfortable to watch, isn't he? Yeah, very much. It's that off-balancing your opponent and then scoring on them that just catches the eyes of the judges very well. Don't forget, everyone, you see this beautiful fighter, Jarvis, but we saw the war of all wars <laughs> on this very, very stage. So he can get dirty if he has to. Yeah, there's a welt and maybe even a tiny little, I don't think it's a cut, but the right eye of Presti has been damaged there on the outside. I don't know if that was an elbow on the way in or yeah, what. it was an elbow, I saw that shot. Both fighters up and ready for round two here. And, uh, Jarvis started well and aggressively. Can he maintain that pace for five, Dave? Yeah, I think so. I think he's got a nice measured start, really. I think he's he's keeping the pace of the fight, but he's not blowing early. That's what's good. You don't want to see someone go in on a five-round full Muay Thai rules fight and just go hell for leather right from the word go. Four or five elbows thrown in round one. Yeah, but everything's really measured, landing clean. Yeah, he's controlled, isn't he? Yeah, that little turn attempt there, little trip, sweep again. It's not, easy. it's not easy in front of a home crowd either, all calling out, trying to get you on. It's, uh, yeah, it's very easy much. to get excited. Yeah, definitely. He's going to want to go for the finish. Everything inside him is going to be wanting to get this done. That was a lovely little move there. He stepped back from that. He spin read that, elbow. didn't he? Jarvis has written the book himself before, and he read it there. Rosario Prezi tracking forward, trying to find that shot, but the lead hand of Jarvis is always controlling, isn't it? Yeah, he's using his range well, using his height well, but Presley's not getting put off by anything. He's standing right in the pocket, ready to fire back like that. Good combination, Jarvis. I think these kicks are out of this world sometimes. Like lightning, they just fly up. He doesn't pull the trigger at all. I wouldn't want to be on the end of them. No, oh, definitely. Lovely, lovely trip there. Beautiful work. Timed that very well. Presley will be concentrating. He's been in this situation many times before. Jarvis has to watch those hands though. He's fought a lot of fought a lot of K1 style kickboxing Presley as well. He knows what it's like to be in a big punching war as well. Doesn't look like he's got the speed he used to have, Boat. Trying to work the elbow in. Jarvis ready, isn't he? Yeah, but Presti looked like he was trying to work his way into the clinch there against Jarvis, which I don't think is a good thing for him. The last time it happened, he was uh, eating the canvas and almost going through the ropes. Well, that's the thing. Jarvis works really well round, this, round the side. and Elbow what? Oof. I think he got the top of Prezi's head with that one, and Prezi caught him on the way away from it as well. This could be a bloodbath if this is going the way I think it is. Yeah, Jarvis just needs to find his range a little bit. That uppercut right elbow, when he steps in, he's just not quite coming in enough, and his arm's coming across before he's making contact. This hungry crowd is always expecting a, a, re a re-show of the uh, Purdy fight that he had here. <laughs> All fights are different and see that movement there, he just he take he accepts the clinch, he engages and moves and steps to the side and pops a knee in, scores well, never in trouble, just controlling it nicely. Good. 
Well, round three here, and Trezzy comes out with that look in his eye yes. that he needs to shot. Listen, he's got banging hooks, this guy. I've seen him put people to sleep before. Yeah. And Jarvis has got everything went at a young age. The, went in for the left hook there and just caught Jarvis. But it looks like this is where you'll see the pace change. Things will go up a bit. Trying to elbow frequently Jarvis. He is a wily contender, Presley. He can defend himself from elbows. He's not someone who will just walk into him. And Jarvis is going to have to work. Yeah, George seems to have found his kicking range, even his hands, but he hasn't quite found his elbow range yet. But still, early stages. I do think, if I'm critical of Jarvis, Dave, would you agree? I think he does need to learn to just win fights just on the back foot sometimes and score kicks. He doesn't need to have a war every fight, does he? <laughs> no, but we like it. <laughs> I, I love it in the commentary box, but I'm sure his dad sits there with that worried look on his face. <coughs> to be fair, I think he's a very talented lad uh, and he could sit back and just kick and win fights like that, but I don't think it'd be as fun to watch. No, and honestly. it's definitely not in his makeup, you know. But it's also not, it's not teaching every aspect of, of the fight game. Sometimes, you know yourself, sometimes you've got to bite down on your gum shield and dig deep and just Close, go yeah. for it. And so this is where George is developing as a as a fighter, and as a whole fighter. Nice little step to the left there when he threw his hands. Yeah, totally confused Presley when he was coming in there, didn't he? Yeah, nice elbow. Very well timed that from Jarvis. And now he gets a good position on that clinch, but Presley turns out of it well. Oh, and tries to elbow the head from a awkward position. Yeah, you're never really going to land with that. Good clinching going on here. It's active, isn't it? And that's why the ref lets it go, Dave. Yeah, Presley was trying to move there. Tried to turn Jarvis, but he's just too tall and too strong. As soon as that space was there, Jarvis threw his whole life through that elbow, didn't he, at him? <laughs> just skimmed the nose of Presley. Ah, lovely little sidestep. Use the hands to, to disguise the step to the side and land the body kick right across the midsection for a good score. Creates good angles, doesn't he, Dave? Yeah, lovely. That's what I like to see. Prezi now running out of ideas, I think, as Jarvis answers different questions that he puts towards him. Jarvis tries something out of Nikon Tom movie, but Prezi will come forward and watch out if he starts banging the body and the head. But at the moment, I think Prez is a little bit gun shy. I think it's like you said, I think he's just run out of ideas a little bit because whatever he tries to do, like here, he's trying to engage in the clinch. Uh, Jarvis is just using his range, using his teeth. He just can't really find what he needs to do to win so far. Damage on the right eye of Prezi, very bruised up here. And Jarvis is controlling the fight so far. And we're going to go into the money round, round four with Jarvis in the driving seat. money round in my tight and Prezi desperately needs a massive round here doesn't he Dave? Yeah he certainly does he's uh, behind on the scorecards on the unofficial Dave Fensom scorecards. <laughs> Don't forget the commentary scorecard counts for absolutely nothing in this sport <laughs> but Prezi working his way in. Don't take your eyes off he's got power in those hooks but I've not seen him punching today like I've seen in the past. I think I think he's finding it hard to find his range, look. Jarvis just punches to set up elbows. He also uses his punches really well to set the distance. Yep. To stop the man to, to land a kick like that. Fluently lands those kicks, doesn't he? Yeah. So fast. And that's why he's so far ahead on points and why Preston needs a big round here. If, if you can fluently kick the body, you're, just, you're gonna take, take home the scorecards at the end, no matter what happens on the day. 
Yeah, Jarvis looks like he doesn't really feel the need to clinch there. He just pops his weight on his opponent, pops his hands over the ropes. The, that way the referee's going to break it, keep the action going. I think I he's enjoying being on the outside here. I, I think Trezzy will get tired as well. He's had a lot of fights, this guy. And I can't see him having that energy in round five where I can see Jarvis being very fluent. Oh, oh great lovely. technique. Look how he just held him at distance after the elbow, though. Yeah, I think he's enjoying himself in there tonight. And the crowd is enjoying this fight with him as the Lumpini warrior lays it down in front of the home crowd as, uh, again. And this venue is, is good for Jarvis. He's definitely a legend of the ring here. Ooh. Jumping knee. Spectacular, gets the crowd lifted again. And Prezi's in trouble now, isn't he, Dave? Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely down here and he's run out of ideas. Spinning he... back elbow catches him. Yeah, he's got a nice welt under that right eye. Timing of the push kick from the south southpaw position, that right foot is just pushing Presley across the ring. It's those kicks though, he just throws them with such ease, but you it's see fluent, isn't it? he moves his opponent, so it's a really good score. That little, little trip there with his foot on the inside. I think he's one of the best British kickers to the body. I think he's one of the most fluent kickers in the country, Jarvis. When you've got speed, like, you don't even need to set him up with the, with the hands either, do you? Looks like he's got a little bit of blood coming from his right cheek. I don't know if that was a clash of heads more than anything. I'm not sure. Presley's slow, isn't he? You can see that. Coming a mile off. And they're going to go into round five. Does Jarvis go for the kill now, which is obviously in his makeup, or does he get back and just take a nice, comfortable win home with him, Dave? I'd like to see him not make any silly mistakes, to perform as he's performing, not chase a knockout. I always think you should never chase a knockout. Let it come. If it can come, it will come. If not, just do what you're doing. Beautiful throw there in the clinch. That's one thing I'd like to see more of. We've not seen a lot of his clinch in this in this fight and that's one thing he'll need to do against Joe Craven if they do go get it on in the future because Craven is as strong as an ox man and uh, those two are going to kick <laughs> kick bells out of each other it's going to be great don't forget Craven has gone in there with the most brutal man on the planet as well and uh, it is going to be a different fight for Jarvis is totally you're right there He's come through the Presley test, and he does come through each test. He came through um, Jake Purdy well, even though Jake took that fight on that day. He did prove himself to be growing up as a man. Well, that's what's nice. I mean, John is taking him through the ranks nicely. He's not, he's not saving him and hiding him from the best people. He's now putting him in against some of the top, like putting him against Joe Craven. People might say he's crazy, but... That's what he wants to do, he wants to test himself, and this kid is more than capable against these kind of people. Of course, it's better. It is different kickboxing to the boxing as well. It, it, you're better when you're young, aren't you? Yeah, always. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> if he meets him later, he might have the experience, but that flow that he has well, just won't be there, will it? Speed of Jarvis, especially with his kicking. I think he's going to clinch his way to the end of this fight now. He's got a good position on his back. <laughs> Presley jokes the elbow. <laughs> Jarvis does not do funny. There's nice that kick. fluent kick. Yep. He could just kick left and right to the end of this fight and move away. 
Yeah, this is the part where you can you can try new things, you can play, you know you're ahead on the points. But also you do not want to make a silly mistake at no. this stage. He's comfortably won this fight. Beautiful body kick. That left kick there, no uh -huh. setup, solid into the ribs. And Jarvis has won every round for me, Dave. Yeah. Lovely flying knee into a body kick. Again, that little step to the side, so he's in kicking range again. He's old now, Presley, but he's tough, isn't he? Certainly is, he's taking some serious punishment tonight. From the days of contender and everything like that, he's, he's put years on, but he's still warrior brand fighter, and he's gonna hug Jarvis at the end of that fight. He's been totally outclassed by the young British talent. <laughs> I can't but he must be proud that, of himself, I, yep. I think he said, Wow, that was hard in, <laughs> in other language. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was top class Muay Thai. Make some noise for these guys, come on.